Let's go Chiefs Kingdom! I live in Kansas City, home to the back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. I was born and raised in Kansas City and have lived here almost my entire life. Let's just say the Chiefs haven't always been this good. But now it's exciting to witness the greatness and how much this city celebrates the Chiefs. So it's no surprise that we also love our star quarterback here in KC. Patrick Mahomes is one of the best NFL quarterbacks to ever play the game. But what if I told you my boy Patrick Mahomes has made a big mistake? He's drinking the wrong water. I'm going to show you why on this episode of Asia Minutes. I'm excited to break this down for you all. But before I do, I have to make some shout outs to some important people who help to make these videos a reality. When you make free educational videos, you have to have people believe in what you're doing to come alongside you and support. Just because we make free hydrogen videos does not mean it's free to make them. We have helped thousands of people for free for many years with hydrogen. And it's because of people like this that we can continue on this path. If you have learned or been helped by our videos, I would ask that you consider becoming a patron on Patreon or to become a member to our YouTube channel to support getting this hydrogen message out to the world. Now, why did I say that Patrick Mahomes is drinking the wrong water? Well, Mahomes has been a prominent endorser of the alkaline water brand Essentia 9.5. In fact, many celebrities are commonly found drinking this popular bottled alkaline water brand. I'm sure that you have seen the many alkaline water brands at your gas station or grocery stores. The Essentia brand alone has a yearly revenue around $300 million. But why is this type of water so popular? How did this fad start? Well, this story traces all the way back to the late 90s and early 2000s when alkaline water ionizers surged in popularity. These ionizers transformed regular tap water into alkaline ionized water by subjecting it to a specific form of water electrolysis. If you don't know what that is or how that works, I made a video about it here and even animated the process of electrolysis for you. Conventional alkaline water ionizers elevate the pH of the drinking water above 7, making it alkaline. It became so popular because many people were noticing and attributing health benefits to this special water. They were noting improvements in various health issues like reduced blood sugar, gout, and gastrointestinal discomfort. At this time, there was limited scientific research examining this water. And usually when this happens, the gap is filled with some sort of explanation. The alkaline water story was born and all kinds of claims are being made about how having a high pH water can benefit the body. Everything from hydrating you better to making your body more alkaline. People have even gone so far to say that cancer can't survive in an alkaline environment, so drink alkaline water to kill the cancer. Pretty dangerous and outlandish claims. Oh, and by the way, I already debunked these claims in older videos that you can go check out. So it started with these larger, more expensive water machines and then bottled water companies caught on. Check out the story as told by the Essential website itself. Essential Water's roots began in 1998 when founder Ken Uptain was first introduced to alkaline water and the ionization technology developed in Japan. He felt an immediate benefit on his body. This personal experience ignited his interest in bringing the product to consumers in the United States and subsequently acquired the rights to use the proprietary technology. His engineering team improved and refined the process for mass production and incorporated a proprietary mineral blend resulting in Essentia's ionized alkaline water the first offered in the US. So you could see that their desire was to bottle ionized water, which supposedly had all these health benefits and get it to the masses. But only one problem, scientists or researchers had yet to figure out where the therapeutic benefits were coming from. But we'll get into that in a minute. Now the alkaline story regarding alkaline water can quickly be debunked with some basic knowledge of human biology. Drinking alkaline water will not alter the pH of your blood or body whatsoever. And if it did, it would be highly detrimental or even deadly. We did a series of videos about this when we first started this channel. Now, I know that some people like the way alkaline water tastes or drink it for its mineral content, but you don't really need the water to be alkaline for that. Spring water or a good water filter can provide the same for you. So when people started to buck up against alkaline water or alkaline water ionizer claims, many more claims about ionized water started to come out. 
Claims like the water holds a negative charge or negative ORP or microclustering structure in the water, negative ions, free electrons, active hydrogen, all being reasons for why the water has health benefits. Again, I have videos. We've done a lot of debunking here on HG Minutes. And remember that there is evidence that supports that there may have been thousands of people getting real and impactful health benefits from this water. Many researchers and research teams worldwide begin to investigate the therapeutic potential of this water through scientific studies. So keep in mind that the claims being made were attempts to explain the real and tangible benefits being seen with this water. But it's 2024 now, and we have more research and evidence telling us what we need to know. We don't need to solely rely on anecdotal evidence or stories. So let's get into it. What does the actual scientific research have to say about this water? Well, before this water was officially called hydrogen water or hydrogen rich water, it was referred to in the scientific literature as electrolyzed reduced water. This review study summarizes the history well. So let's see what it has to say. Following a small number of studies with hyperbaric hydrogen, the effects of electrolytically alkaline water has been reported. Researchers hypothesized that the hydrogen atom, which they call active hydrogen, is generated in electrolysis and propose that active hydrogen scavenges reactive oxygen species ROS. Although it is unlikely that atomic hydrogen is able to exist for a substantial time in our bodies, molecular hydrogen does exist in electrolyzed water and the effects of electrolyzed water have been reported thereafter. Researchers reported that electrolyzed water scavenged ROS and protected a hamster's pancreatic beta cell line from alloxin-induced cell damage. Similarly, electrolyzed reduced hemodialysis solution produced by an electrolysis device ameliorated oxidative stress in hemodialysis patients. In 2005, researchers started cooperative clinical studies and established the Association of Electrolyzed Water Hemodialysis Study Group in 2008. According to personal communication with this group, they now believe the effects of electrolyzed water are likely due to dissolved hydrogen molecules. So even in the studies, we see the researchers making hypotheses about what they believe is causing the benefits, but continuing to research and then correcting themselves when they discover what the therapeutic agent was in the water. Let's see what happened next. In 2005, researchers reported that hydrogen rich neutral pH water that was produced with their unique electrolysis device reduced oxidative stress in rats. This was a pioneering work because it explicitly proved that molecular hydrogen, not alkaline pH, in the electrolyzed alkaline water exerts therapeutic effects. And this was further confirmed, of course, after the prestigious Nature Medicine article in 2007 about the antioxidant capability of molecular hydrogen. The research of hydrogen gas as a therapeutic molecule has exploded. This led to even more research on electrolyzed reduced water or alkaline water in order to get to the bottom of what's leading to all these health benefits. And then in 2022, these awesome review articles on electrolyzed reduced water were published. The first study systematically breaks down each therapeutic agent claim and scrutinizes the validity of the claim. To quote the study, numerous benefits have been attributed to alkaline electrolyzed reduced water. Sometimes these claims are associated with easily debunked concepts. The observed benefits have been conjectured to be due to the intrinsic properties of electrolyzed reduced water, such as negative oxidation reduction potential, ORP, alkaline pH, H2 gas, as well as enigmatic characteristics, such as altered water structure, microclusters, free electrons, active hydrogen, and mineral hydrides. The associated pseudoscientific marketing has attributed to the reluctance of mainstream science to accept ERW as having biological effects. Finally, through many in vitro and in vivo studies, each one of these propositions were examined and refuted one by one until it was conclusively demonstrated that H2 was the exclusive therapeutic agent responsible for both the negative ORP and the observed therapeutic effects of ERW. It also concludes with this. Importantly, the presence of H2 alone can fully explain the benefits of electrolyzed reduced water without requiring any need to rely on inaccurate or metaphysical concepts such as alkalizing the body with alkaline water, microclusters, free electrons, atomic hydrogen, increase in tropic energy, etc. This article states similar things, but notice how they make the shift from calling the water electrolyzed reduced water to hydrogen water. 
Using this approach, research on H2 dissolved water or hydrogen water primarily began in the 1990s and revealed that there are numerous biological beneficial effects of hydrogen water. These include antioxidative stress, suppression of lipid peroxidation, anti-inflammatory, neuroprotective, protection of DNA from oxidative damage, prevention of aspirin-induced gastric mucosal injury, anti-diabetic, and anti-cancer effects. Among types of hydrogen water, the variety produced on the cathode side by electrolysis of tap water using a water generator is known as electrolyzed hydrogen water. During electrolysis, hydroxyl ions and hydrogen gas are generated on the cathode side, resulting in the alkaline nature of electrolyzed hydrogen water. So if all that didn't convince you enough about alkaline water, check out this quote about alkaline water or the alkaline diet. Despite the promotion of the alkaline diet and alkaline water by the media and salespeople, there is almost no actual research to either support or disprove these ideas. This systematic review of the literature reveals a lack of evidence for or against diet acid load and or alkaline water for the initiation and treatment of cancer. Promotion of alkaline diet and alkaline water to the public for cancer prevention or treatment is not justified. This brings us full circle back to essential water. Referring back to their website, it says that essential water is not just alkaline water, but it is ionized water. But now we've done the work to know that the real reason why ionized water has any health benefits is because of the hydrogen gas. As stated earlier, alkaline water ionizers perform electrolysis on the drinking water. By definition, water electrolysis decomposes water into its natural elements, hydrogen gas, and oxygen gas. For this reason, alkaline water ionizers may have varying levels of dissolved hydrogen gas within the water under the right circumstances. So this begs the question, does essential water have any hydrogen gas in it? Well, one, there is nothing on the essential website about hydrogen gas. So if it did, it would be in there probably by accident. And number two, hydrogen gas is not able to be contained in plastic bottles for extended periods. Hydrogen gas escapes from glass and plastic containers quickly but aluminum containers can retain hydrogen gas for extended periods. H2 is so small that it can get through anything. So bottling hydrogen water into plastic bottles is a waste of time because it'll just float right through the plastic. Don't believe me? Check out this video on how small is H2. And just for safe measure for all you skeptics out there, we did buy a bottle of Essential 9.5 and tested it for H2 and as expected, there was none in there. So does all this mean we should just drop bottled alkaline water and buy an ionizer? Not exactly. Now that we have sound scientific evidence behind H2 being the sole therapeutic agent for the health benefits for electrolyzed reduced water or alkaline ionized water, we can move on to the second review article on electrolyzed reduced water and learn that alkaline water ionizers might not also be the safest, most efficient way to consume hydrogen water. This article details some of the safety concerns with alkaline water ionizers, as well as limitations for efficiently producing and dissolving hydrogen gas for health benefits. To quote the conclusion, due to the potential safety concerns of electrolyzed reduced water, some users may seek alternative methods capable of providing more consistent and higher H2 concentrations without requiring as much maintenance and frequent measuring of H2. If you would like to know more about these studies, we will link them in the description. And you can check out the research update video I made that goes into more details about the findings of those articles. I've also made a whole video series about ionized alkaline water that goes in depth about ionizer technology the misconceptions and pitfalls about alkaline water ionizers and the different waters they make, and about many of the other claims surrounding them, such as pH, ORP, microclustering, structuring, etc. Whatever you wanna know, I got you covered. There was one point in the market where water ionizers were the only available option for drinking hydrogen water. But now that hydrogen gas has been demonstrated to be the sole reason for the therapeutic benefits, there are plenty of products and technologies out there that will give you just that. Dissolve hydrogen gas consistently and reliably in larger doses. Plus now you can also breathe hydrogen gas and bathe in hydrogen water as well. The alkaline water story owes a lot to molecular hydrogen. To sum this up, alkaline water and its popularity has 
clearly been riding the back of hydrogen gas all this time. And they've been making bank doing so while those of us who have this knowledge, hydrogen people have been trying to tell the world the truth with little traction. Until now, with all the celebrities and athletes drinking alkaline water that lacks the research or the capability to provide health benefits beyond normal water, imagine if they all could discover hydrogen. I haven't even gotten into all of the evidence-based health benefits of hydrogen gas in this video, but I have in many others. But let's see what the scientific evidence has to say about what hydrogen water can do for Patrick Mahomes or any other athlete that alkaline water can't do. Let's take a brief look at what the scientific research has to say. Hydrogen gas may act as an exercise mimetic, meaning it can provide similar benefits to the body that exercise does. Decreases excessive exercise related oxidative stress and inflammation before, during, and post exercise. Reduction in fatigue and muscle fatigue while exercising. Reduction in lactate commonly known as lactic acid during and post-workout, may improve running performance, supports rapid recovery post-training, enhances or improves muscle function, increases muscle endurance due to reducing exercise-related acidosis, neuroprotective, and we all know how crucial it is to protect the brain in a sport like football, maintains athletes' antioxidant status during strenuous exercise, enhances the recovery of TBIs or traumatic brain injuries such as concussions, may improve aerobic exercise performance, may improve anaerobic exercise performance, supports cognitive function even under stress, increases energy and focus via supporting mitochondrial ATP production, does it interfere with reactive signaling molecules that are useful for exercise adaptations, improves VO2 max, improves breathing or ventilation efficiency during exercise by reducing ventilation minute, improves muscle power output, maintains muscular peak power output longer, significantly reduces DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness, decreases exercise heart rate during submaximal intensity, enhances nitric oxide function, improves blood flow and microcirculation, cardioprotective and improves cardiovascular function, accelerates recovery from sports-related injuries like bone and soft tissues, enhances gut composition of athletes, improving their antioxidant and inflammatory status, increase hemoglobin levels, indicating improved exercise endurance capacity after two months of consumption, plays a crucial role in regulating key cellular pathways essential for lean muscle mass, protein synthesis, exercise adaptation, and pro-healing factors. Aids to regulate fluid homeostasis and mitigates dehydration stress. Significantly enhances wound healing, leading to a three-fold increase in the healing rate. This effect was achieved through the direct regulation of the extracellular matrix and the activation of stem cells. And I could go on and on. I've done another video on the top four ways hydrogen can benefit athletes us a four-part series on how hydrogen can benefit the brain. This is so important for any sport, especially for football and boxing. Hydrogen gas for exercise performance, recovery, and sport medicine is one of the categories that we have the most human studies for thus far. It has a growing body of human data to support its use and safety, which is something that even most supplements or exercise products don't have. According to the National Institute of Health, some bodybuilders and athletes use dietary supplements to try to improve their strength, muscle mass, and energy. However, many of these products contain harmful ingredients. Also, for some substances, there is no clear evidence that they may improve athletic performance. Even though there is much more research yet to be done on hydrogen gas, the truth is we have enough evidence showing that it's safe to use and the therapeutic potential for benefiting athletes is high. As stated before, most exercise supplements can't say that. That cannot be said for drinking alkaline water, even though thousands of athletes are drinking it. Considering these facts, there is literally no reason not to take a chance on molecular hydrogen. So athletes, stop drinking useless alkaline water and start drinking something with actual scientific evidence to benefit you in meaningful ways. And for all of us, bottled alkaline water is only successful because most people don't know any better. Once we know better, we should do better. Let's start benefiting our health for real and stop promoting things with no actual scientific evidence to support them.
Speaking of evidence, be sure to subscribe to our channel where we always bring the evidence behind hydrogen gas. With so many proponents of hydrogen spouting nonsense and giving their opinions with nothing to back it up. Be sure to like and share our video so that people can be informed about what the actual research has to say about hydrogen gas. And not be duped by all the influencers and shady companies. It's getting pretty ridiculous out there. And with that said, Patrick Mahomes, that was your dose of H2 within minutes.